Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It's Wednesday, and may I do what I always try to do on Wednesday. Sometimes I forget, but to just remind you that on Wednesday, most of our churches have a Wednesday night service. If you have a church that has a Wednesday night service, I encourage you to be in your place, be there, be an encouragement, be a blessing, and uh, and receive something from God. Listen to that Bible study. Enjoy singing his praises and the time of prayer, and whatever else goes on in your church. If you don't have a church and you're in this greater Louisville area, Kentuckiana area, I uh, invite you to visit with us at Shawnee Baptist Church. We always have a great Wednesday night Bible study. Our pastor's in the book of Ephesians, and we're just having a great time, and you would really enjoy his preaching and teaching, I tell you that. And uh, Brother Frost, pa pa Pastor Frost, he's a good man of God. And uh, so if you don't have a church, come visit with us. If you do have a church, be in your place and let God use you there. And that, that would be a great blessing. Well, we're talking this week about the person and work of the Holy Spirit. We said he is a person on Monday. On Tuesday, we said he is God. Now, here on this Wednesday, I want to just say this. He does only what a, what a personal God can do. You say, preacher, what are you talking about there? Well, let me just read you a couple of uh, passages. The Bible says, and in this passage, uh, I'm talking about the idea that he gives new life to those who believe on Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit of God gives that new life to the believer. Listen to what it says in John chapter 3, verses 3 through 7. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, he's talking to a religious leader. He's talking to a Pharisee. He's talking to Nicodemus. And Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Water birth, that's the physical birth. When the water bursts and the baby starts coming forth, that's the water birth. But then he says there has to be that spiritual birth. If you want to be part of the family of God, if you want to be uh, join the kingdom of heaven, if you want to go to heaven when you die, then, my friend, you need to be born again. He said, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, you must be born again. So Jesus made that very clear, that the Holy Spirit of God he does only what a personal God can do. And that personal God, the Holy Spirit, working, will work in us and through us and on us to help us understand that we're sinners that deserve hell, but that God loves us and sent his son to die in our place and that we need to be born again, have that new birth, be born again into the family of God through faith in Jesus Christ and what he did on Calvary and how he was buried and rose again, had victory over sin, death, hell, and the grave, did it for you, did it for me. If we're willing to believe him, receive him, trust him, call on him, admit to him that we're sinners, cannot save ourselves, and that we believe what he did was enough payment for our sin, and ask him to be our Savior. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you haven't done that, get it settled today. I beg you, for Jesus' sake, to do it. Allow that Holy Spirit of God to convince and convict your heart and receive Christ as your Savior. And then let me give you another one here, just very quickly. He does only what a personal God can do. He, he gives new life to those who believe on Jesus Christ. And number two, he baptizes all those who have new life, putting them into the body of Christ. We become literally part of that great heavenly body, the body of Christ, by trusting in Jesus Christ. Listen to what he said. Here it is in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse number 13. For by one spirit are we, are, are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. So he literally, we become, we talk about baptism, and baptism is that by water after we're saved is a picture where we're displaying, here's what I believe Jesus did for me. I was, he, he was buried and rose again, and I'm, I'm dead to self 
and buried with Christ by baptism unto death, raised to walk a new life. It's an outward display of what took place in our life when we received Jesus Christ as our Savior, and it was the Holy Spirit who baptized us into Christ. For by one Spirit we are all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, we have all been made to drink into one spirit. So here we are. We're all part of the family of God. We're all part of that same wonderful heavenly family because the Spirit of God baptized us into that body of Christ, that body of believers. That's what a local church is. It's a body of believers. That's why it's good for God's people to gather together. And that's why I always make a big push for Wednesday night service and Sunday morning, Sunday night, Sunday school, whatever, you, whatever your church is having, you ought to be there. Be there, be an encouragement, be a blessing, and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to your heart through the Word of God as the pastor stands up to give a message from God's Word or the, or the Bible teacher in Sunday school or whoever it might be, and let the Holy Spirit speak to your heart and help you to be a growing Christian as you, as you accumulate more and more of the Word of God into your life and maybe memorize a few verses along the way. Let God use you. Let's pray together. Thank the Lord for his goodness and just ask God to use us and to make ourselves available. I, I want to be available to the Holy Spirit of God, who not only uh, does he love me, not only is he part of that great Godhead, but he's the one who who, who convicts us and helps us to understand the gospel, to receive Christ, and puts us in that great body of believers. What a great, what a great spirit of God that loves us so much. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the wonderful opportunity we have to talk about the Lord Jesus, talk about our Heavenly Father. The Lord, help us not to leave out the precious Holy Spirit of God who, who loves us, who works in our lives, who wants to use us, who wants to guide us. I pray we'll be open to his leadership in our lives, and we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen.